I was hoping to do this outside in the sunshine, but unfortunately it's a bit drizzy and it's a bit damp. We might hear a bit of a deluge in a moment. What is firmware and why is it called firmware? Firmware is the software which lives inside your camera, which is used to process the image that the sensor has captured into an image file and save it onto your card. It kind of manages the camera. It's the software which um, the camera uses in order to work. The firmware gets upgraded fairly regularly. Manufacturers release new upgrades, um, so it's well worth checking from time to time to make sure your camera is up to date because there's usually improvements. Now this is the sort of thing I absolutely hate and I'm really hoping I don't mess this up for you. But I'm sure we'll be fine. What do you need to do to, to get hold of your firmware upgrade? Well, the place you'd begin is with your camera. Let's just have a quick look. Now, all cameras are going to be different and you might need to look at your book to see how you do it on your camera. On my Nikon D300, you switch it on, I pop into the menu, I have a little scroll through to firmware version, click across into there, and you can see here that there are two pieces of firmware. There's an A and a B. Mine's on 1.01 and 1.00. Now I'm embarrassed to say I haven't done this in a very, very long time. I'm telling you to do it and I haven't taken my own medicine. But that's because I don't like fixing things that aren't broken. So that is going to tell me what my firmware version is. So I'm on 1.01. So the next thing that you're going to need to do is to go online and then do a little search for a firmware upgrade. But before we go there, I just want to show you other things you're going to need. There are two ways of doing it. You can do this with your camera tethered into a computer, and then you can download the firmware upgrade from the computer into the camera. You'll find that the firmware ups, uh, for firmware update websites for each camera will have detailed instructions as well. But I know some of you like watching me do it. God alone knows why, but anyway. <clears throat> The other way you can do it is to download the firmware update and then put it onto a flash card and put the card into the camera. The camera will see the update and then it will execute it and put it into the camera. Now in the case of my camera, which has two pieces of firmware, the A and the B, you can't put them both onto one card. I'm gonna use two cards. I'm gonna put the A on one card and the B on the other and then do it that way. If you only have one card, then you can put the A on, install it, and then format the card and put the B on. You have to do this with a newly formatted card. Make sure you have your images saved somewhere safely because when you format the card, it will delete everything off that card. Okay, really important, don't forget that one. So I have my formatted cards ready. I've got a card reader in the laptop. I've got my camera ready to go. I've got my glasses so I can see things. Let's hope it works. Okay, so the first thing we need to do then is to whiz out online and do a little search for the firmware upgrade. So mine is a Nikon D300 firmware. And okay, it's already got it. So I'll click on there and we whiz through to this page. Now I did a bit of research before I did this and discovered it says not available. I actually know that it is available by clicking on the downloads and support tab. I don't know why it says it isn't. But you just scroll down the list until you find your camera model, make sure it's the exact model. Click through <clears throat> and we've got a whole page which tells you all about how to download the software. All these instructions will be on this page, very, very specific and very technically detailed. There's the little section here which is about how to verify which your camera's current firmware version is, which I've just shown you. So, you know, you turn the camera on, press the menu, um, go through to setup menu, and then it will tell you what your firmware version is. And if we look at the top here, you can see I should be on 1.11, not 1.0. So you scroll on down towards the bottom where you've got download instructions, detailed download instructions. You can sort of pop them up on screen and that will give you absolute step by step. Read the terms and conditions nicely, which I know we all do, and then begin the download. So now, here we go, we make a little folder and I'm gonna put one on the desktop and I'm gonna call that D300 firmware update. Open that folder and save it into the computer. So that's, there we go, you can see it down the bottom there. So that's downloaded, or it's downloading,
So the next step is going to be, how do we get that into the camera? Click on the download to unpack the software, run the program, and there we go, it's unpacked. Here's our update. And inside, those are the two bits of firmware ready to go. Now, take your card, your formatted card, pop it into the card reader. There we go, and a window's opened up. Let's move that over. And then drag the update into the top level of the card. Make sure it goes into the very top level of the card. Don't put it into a folder because what will happen is the camera won't be able to find it and that's really important. Okay, now what we have to do is to eject the card. Uh, scroll down here and eject. Always do that, make sure it's done properly. Otherwise you may get a spike and then you've got a problem. Okay, now I can whip my card out. This is the scary bit. <clears throat> Get your camera. Make sure your camera battery is fully charged before you attempt to do this. <clears throat> because if it isn't, and your camera decides it's going to pack up midway through the update, you could be in a lot of trouble. You may even have to take it back to the manufacturers to get it mended. So make sure your battery is fully charged. This is all new territory to me because I haven't done it yet, and I hope it works. Okay, glasses on so you can see. Card into the camera. Now the card's in, switch the camera on, and we go into the menu, firmware update. Ooh, firmware update, firmware version, there we go. And you can see straight away, there's a new little piece arrived which says update. So now we go down there and click OK. And it's saying which one do you want to update? The current is, it's actually checking. It's saying current version is 1.01, uh, .01, and the new version is, Menu's just gone off. Update 1.11. So, do I want to update it? Confirm it. Yes. There we go. We've got a little screen on the back saying, Warning, do not turn off your camera during this update. The update will take several minutes. Exciting, isn't it? So, now we just sit here and just watch the little status bar creeping across the screen and it's updating my firmware. So, in theory, this should be a bit like having a new camera. We're nearly there, update completed, turn off the camera. And that's really all there is to it. Something that you should always do, if you have your camera set up a specific way, for example, I always shoot in um, Adobe RGB, I shoot RAW files, I make sure stuff like delighting and auto settings are all switched off, go back into your menu and go through those settings and make sure you put it back the way you want it because the chances are pretty good that it's gonna go back to factory defaults. So there we go, almost got a shiny new camera. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified each time we upload one of our cool photography videos, or for more great photo tips, workshops and training, come and see us at our website, photographycourses.biz.